This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Wednesday morning, employees at the GM Grand River plant in Lansing will be headed back to work. Auto workers at that plant will follow the same protocols as the Delta Township plant. GM's Delta Township location resumed production last week. A number of safety measures are in place for when workers at the Grand River facility walk back into the building. This includes wearing a mask and taking temperatures of each worker during any given shift. General Motors says that they're also increasing cleaning services at Grand River. Starting today, GM will give workers time to clean their own stations. Many in the area are looking to support local businesses and restaurants during the pandemic, but the way people are ordering from restaurants have them picking up scraps. Business is starting to sizzle again at Goodfellas Bagel Deli in downtown Lansing. The breakfast sandwich shop, named after the popular 1990 mob movie, had just launched at the beginning of 2020 when the pandemic hit. The spread of the virus forced owners Adrian Joseph and Nate Parisian to close their doors for about a month. They've since reopened, slicing toasted bagels with cheeses and meats. The pair are as busy as they've ever been in their small kitchen. But to meet demand and the changing climate, they've now added delivery platforms to their business. The apps are something they can't wait to stop using as soon as the pandemic ends. For Joseph and Parisian, 50% of their business since the pandemic has come from these delivery apps. Some apps offer a better deal to the duo than others, but in an industry with already slim margins, a fee on every order that can reach up to 35% is a killer. While food delivery apps like Uber Eats and Grubhub charge restaurants anywhere between 20 and 35% service fees on every customer order, customers don't see the fee ridden anywhere on their orders. A simple solution for restaurants would be to raise the prices shown on the app, but the delivery companies request restaurant owners to not have higher prices online than they do in the store. Over in Rio Town, Saddleback Barbecue owner Travis Stolliker is fed up with the apps too. He's ready for customers to understand that getting up and getting the food yourself or ordering directly from their website is the best way to help a local place. Recent advertising campaigns by both Uber Eats and Grubhub suggest that they are supporting local eateries. Uber Eats offered free delivery to the customer on purchases from local restaurants. Grubhub has a television spot where the company claims restaurants are our family. Stalaker says a really well-run restaurant has a 20% profit margin, but if a restaurant is already losing up to 35% on every order to a delivery platform, it's just not a fair relationship. So what if you don't want to be on an app? Too bad, apparently. Stalker points out that his barbecue menu just showed up on an app one day without his consent. Grubhub told Fox 47 that they started adding restaurants to their marketplace without restaurant approval in late 2019. The company explained that they do it because this is a model that other food delivery companies have been doing for years as a way to widen their restaurant supply. And we're trying it as well to create a level playing field. Stalaker understands the lack of desire by consumers to come to the store right now, but the illusion that buying food on these apps is helping local businesses is misguided. Early Wednesday morning, the Lansing Police Department released information regarding their investigation into an officer-involved shooting that left one man dead and an officer wounded. Police say that they were directed to a residence on the 900 block of North Walnut at 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday. They were responding to a report that a male had fired a firearm and was involved in an active domestic assault. At the time, Fox 47 was informed that that police believed a woman in the house was assaulted by the suspect. Lansing Police Department's Director of Public Information in its release says that preliminary information indicates that upon the arrival of police, officers made verbal contact with the male suspect while they were outside of the residence and began to negotiate with the suspect who remained inside the residence. He goes on to say that within a short time period, the male subject exited the residence with a firearm and began to shoot at police officers. One officer was struck by the subject's gunfire. Another officer on the scene returned fire, striking the subject. The subject was a 37-year-old Lansing man. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The police officer struck by the gunfire is a seven-year police veteran. He was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. 
a total of six police officers were involved with this incident and have been placed on administrative leave. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to putting food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand to others in your community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to help get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound and learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't celebrate their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News has created the Senior Spotlight. It's a way for anyone to share a video shout out or upload a photo of a special graduate that deserves recognition. So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today to let our mid-Michigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these and all mid-Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.